Hello Virgo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next seven days tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. So Virgo, I'm doing these. I'm a little bit late doing the weeklies because as you know, I've got other things on. So let's see what we have for you. I did want to get something out for you for the next seven days. We have the Two of Pentacles, a little bit of seesawing, let's see what we have, we have the Star, Two of Wands, the Tower, The Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Swords. It looks like somebody is asking you to have faith in them. The star, hope, faith, optimism, renewal, could be healing as well with the Ace of Cups. Emotional rebirth, renewal, an offer of love can be in terms of renewing a relationship on some level here, Virgo. But again, the Page of Swords and uh, the Two of Wands, again, this can be about learning something or hearing something that prompts you to be at some kind of crossroads. The Two of Wands can be a choice between two paths. It can be linked with, do I stay or go? Do I step outside of my this current boundary that I'm in? Again, that could be you know a relationship on one other level for, for some of you. And do I step into the unknown? Uh, there is an energy here about choices about the future with the two of wands. It can be, which way do I go? Do I stay or go? Do I go this way, that way? But it feels like it's because you're learning something or hearing something or news or a truth or information comes to light that puts you at some kind of crossroads. We have the Eight of Wands, the Tower and the Nine of Swords, conversations and communications because the Tower can be to do with uh, truth, revelation, an event that happens that can even cause endings, you know, it can be, you know, a significant change. It feels like someone's asking you to have faith. Uh, emotional rebirth, renewal of a relationship with them, but you're deciding whether you want to or not. And there are conversations ongoing because there's a strong indication, Nine of Swords with a tower. I'm not sure it's going to be any different and I'm not sure we can. I'm not sure whether to let it all fall down. This is the energy here. Two of Pentacles is a choice needs to be made or a decision, but which way do I go? You're juggling. You're at that crossroads and you're deciding. Because there is a kind of indication here that whoever is offering you renewal of a relationship, whatever that relationship is, you're not sure. You're not sure it's it's doable or they mean what they say or you're losing hope or faith that it will be any different moving forward. This is why you're kind of like toing and froing about which way do I go? There's a decision to be made, but which way do I go? Let's get an extra couple of cards. Oh, thank you. Judgment, yeah. 
So, I mean, really, there is a it's, it's a significant decision. This we have uh, one, two, two significant cards, and three now with the judgment card, which are all linked to decisions and choices. And judgment is really about choosing wisely because it's a judgment. It can be karmic, but it can also be linked with things like lessons learned. You know, what does experience teach you? Uh, it can be linked with things like karmic lessons and sometimes if we've given somebody a chance before or a number of chances before, this is where we're kind of like thinking, well, where do I really see hope and optimism lying, emotional rebirth and renewal for myself? You know, do I see it with giving this person another chance or do I actually bring change and move in a different direction this time? There's a significant choice or decision to make on that basis here choose wisely with judgment and I feel this week it looks like you're you're weighing it up uh, two of pentacles which way do I go you're weighing up the facts the information uh, that you need to come to some kind of conclusion but it feels like something comes to light and it prompts you to be at some kind of major gateway where you decide whether to give somebody another chance or move in a completely new direction Yeah, the five of wands, inner conflict, external conflict, uh, not feeling on the same page as, as the other person, quite the opposite. This is like two people standing at opposite ends of the room and arguing, both arguing their point of view and nobody backing down and nobody coming to any kind of consensus or agreement. This is this is conflict that goes round and round and round in circles as well. So it, it, it could be likely here that you want to make some kind of judgment or significant choice or decision to stop this kind of like cyclical thing happening even uh, because it might well be for some of you because there's a strong sense here I don't know if it's going to be any different this time if I give somebody another chance and I get my hopes up again will I will it be any different this time and that's why you're kind of like to and froing you could even be considering financial implications with this card as well of your decision to and if you've already come to some kind of decision, this can be, well, how do I do it? So this is the energy here, Virgo, of a significant choice or decision. And I feel it's to to resolve some kind of conflict or um, potentially get off the merry-go-round of constantly feeling like, you know, there's a fundamental issue that you just don't agree on or somebody keeps on doing something that upsets you, upsets you and causes conflict again and again and again. This is the energy here of <clears throat> a call to action. Decide and also what has the experience taught you and let that experience guide your judgment as well. But free will. There is a feeling of kind of karmic lessons with this. And, you know, sometimes if it was that kind of cyclical energy as well, Generally, if we choose to give somebody another chance, then there is that feeling here that you know what to expect. What does experience teach you? That would be the energy too. Okay, we have healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. And where does healing lie? That's what I have for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.